Hello my spooky friends. Today is spooky. There's wine in here. Isn't it great glass because of the like the shape and everything? But maybe the it was red wine, so if it does get kind of drippy, it'll be spookier because it'll look like blood. Welcome to my spooky TBR, where I go through the books that I sort of, kind of, want to read this spooky season, or I want to recommend for you to read this spooky season. So number one, right now I'm actually in the middle, right now I'm in the middle, or actually very close to the end, of a thriller audiobook called when you find me yes called when you find me that is this woman and her this woman and her husband go home to south carolina to a woman's home for christmas and on the night of christmas eve she gets very drunk and uh then in the morning her husband is missing there's a lot more to it than that but i feel like anymore and it'll be spoilers there's small town intrigue and um uh, the woman's family is one of those like really rich white people families in the south that are all about appearances and southern hospitality but not really because they're just trying to make you think that they're hospitable which are the kind of people that are a big part of why I left the South. Um, if you don't know, I used to live in Georgia about a year ago. I moved to Wisconsin. Anyway, also every year I like to read one kind of more classical, spooky kind of book. One that helped to shape the, the world of scary monsters and things. Last year I read Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The year before that was Frankenstein. Um, this year I got the audiobook for Dracula. Although I've been seeing a lot of people um, suggesting reading the book that came before Dracula. I think it was called Cam Camilla. That was basically one of the vampire wives before Dracula was written. I, I don't know the history of it. But I already bought Dracula, so I feel like I'm saying his name really weird. I might also read the other one if I can find it for cheap slash free. So next on my list, I've been reading books either written by Wisconsin authors or set in Wisconsin. And so this one is Death Stalks Door County. Whenever I'm reading thrillers or scary things in order to keep the suspense. I don't like knowing too much going into it. Um, so the one line is six deaths, a grief-stricken investigator, betrayal. So Door County is this um, little county that if you picture Wisconsin, I don't know which way is going to be right for you, but Wisconsin's kind of a hand where like Green Bay, it would be right here. I don't know, can you even see my hand? Green Bay would be right here, and then this is the bay, and then over here is just like this little peninsula, um, Door Peninsula, Door County, um, where there's actually a lot of uh, really good wineries, or I've been recommended that there's a lot of good wineries. I have not actually been there yet, but I hear it's beautiful in the fall, so maybe sometime soon. Next on the list are two that uh, have been on my shelf for a while. This one you might recognize, Blood Like Magic by Lazelle Sanbury. Sanbury? Sanbury? Lazelle? She is a YouTuber that I've been following for a really long time. This is her debut novel. Uh, she has several that <laughs> Or either out or to be out soon um, but this is about a coven of witches in Toronto 
in Canada somewhere and the main character has to kill her first love in order to save her family's magic. Uh, but she's never been in love. So, should be interesting. I know the sequel is coming out this year. It might already be out. I am a terrible fan and I don't know. But Lizelle has a great YouTube channel where she goes into a lot about being an author and uh, what that's like and also just like vlogs and stuff. She's pretty cool. Blood Like Magic. The sequel is Blood Like Fate. Um, and I caught this because I was going to read it a long time ago, but now that the second one is out or is about to be out, you can get them as a box set. And since I haven't read it yet, I should have just waited for the box set. I'm assuming that I'm going to like it. It is very thick. Um, I mentioned this in one of my last videos that I shot in Georgia where um, it was books that I'm intimidated by and it is a long one. And Halloween is coming up soon, so I want to read this book about witches before Halloween. I bet I, I, I need to get on this. Uh, and then another one that's been on my shelves for a very long time is When the Curtain Falls by Carrie Hope Fletcher. She's another YouTuber, but hers is, her YouTube channel is more about being an actress in London's West End musical theatre, although she's doing her first non-musical stage production this year. Uh, but anyway, she is also a number one best-selling author. I read her first three books, two of them are novels, and this one is set in a theater. Uh, and I guess it's a dual timeline where the present day timeline has the ghosts of the past timeline, timeline from the past. And I love her style, the way that the other two books are written are, it's kind of this magical realism. I think that's what it's called, where pretty much it's just like the regular world, but with like one or two little magical touches. I loved her other two books, though I do have some questions about all that she can see. Because his mom, okay. Next up, I do like to read some nonfiction. Um, not every month, but some months. And there's not a lot of scary nonfiction that I can read without actually getting scared myself, like true crime. If I were to read that in a novel or in a book form, I would probably just like never go to sleep again, I'm guessing. Uh, but I have been wanting to read for a very long time On Writing by Stephen King. And it's Stephen King, so I feel like spooky season is the right time to read him. It's a book about how he writes and his philosophy and um, a memoir of the craft basically. I like reading about writers because I like to pretend that one day I might be one. One that I don't know if I'm gonna read and if I don't read it this year it might be time to give it away. Sherlock Holmes versus Cthulhu. The Adventures of the Deadly Dimensions by Lois H. Grush. By the title, a uh, speculative fiction, I guess, combining the worlds of Sherlock Holmes and Cthulhu. I have read nearly all of the Sherlock Holmes short stories. I'm sure that there's one or two that I missed, but love Sherlock. Cthulhu, though, I have next to no background on. I know it's like an octopus squid monster. Um, but yeah, I think it could be very interesting. But it, this is another one. It's been on my shelf, shelves for years and I haven't ever actually picked it up because it seems like it might be kind of cheesy. Although I did love Sense and Sensibility in Sea Monsters, which was combining the novel Sense and Sensibility with Sea Monsters. So I should give it a shot, right? Have you read this? Speaking of Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters, sort of, Pride and Premeditation. It's a uh, 
Sherlock Holmes meets Pride and Prejudice. I don't think Sherlock Holmes is actually in here, but a kind of murder mystery version of Pride and Prejudice. Which I love, love Pride and Prejudice. I try and read some kind of adaptation of Pride and Prejudice fairly often. I read Ayesha's, uh, Ayesha at last, last year, a couple years ago. And it was delightful. It was a modern day telling of Pride and Prejudice with the, um, set in Canada and the main character is Muslim? That sounds right. I love the concept and I love reading it in different, uh, different styles, different characters. So Pride and Premeditation. It's a murder mystery, so it's, it counts. This one though, I could probably read after Halloween because it's not so much spooky, it, but I feel like murder mystery stuff is a fall thing. So this one might wait till November. Next is The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. A New Year's reunion in the remote Scottish wilderness. Ooh, Scotland. One of these friends is a murderer and won't make it out alive. So it's another, it's another murder mystery, but I think this one is going to be more of a thriller than Pride and Premeditation, so I do feel it goes more in October. I'm just making up the rules as I go. Nothing says that this is real. And then I wanted to get one that was new, new, like published this year. And so I found one that seems interesting. Uh, it, was, it came out this year, but it's in paperback. And I had not heard of it before seeing it at the bookstore, so I could be completely wrong. If you've heard of this and you know anything about its publication history, let me know. Um, and it's called The New Girl by Jesse Q. Sutanto. She's a liar, cheater, and murderer, and it's only her first semester. Uh, new girl at school after getting over the shock that she's won a full ride to the prestigious Draycott Academy on a track scholarship. She's determined to make it work even though she's never felt more out of place in a school full of students who have private planes, designer drugs, and bags that cost more than her car. But Draycott isn't as shiny as... But Draycott isn't as shiny and beautiful as the brochures say. There's something rotten at the core. Something that is already starting to corrupt Leah Lyo, main girl. When a dead girl is discovered in the classroom of the teacher who is determined to see Lia, Leah, main girl fail, she tries to get to the bottom of what could have happened. But as she digs deeper into Draycott's secrets, she realizes everyone in her life and at the school has something to hide. If she doesn't learn how to beat them at their own twisted game, she'll be the next girl to wind up dead. So I'm getting kind of like Dark Academia vibes. Um, but the cover is so bright and fun. I mean, it's got a bloody knife on it, so not fun, but it's so bright. The cover doesn't scream dark academia but that description definitely does so those are the books that i'm currently planning to try and read this spooky season slash fall hang it we gotta do be real those are the books that i'm thinking of trying to possibly read this fall hopefully i'll get to at least a few of them have you heard of any of these books do you recommend any of these books i I'm gonna prioritize Deathstalk Store County because that is for uh, another video that I'm definitely gonna do this year. 100%. And On Writing by Stephen King. And other than that, I'm gonna do at least three books. That's the goal. But those are the two that are definite. The third one's gonna be whatever the heck I feel like. I've had like three slips of that wide. What is, what is going on? Alright. Well, what's on your TBR for this fall or spooky season? Do you like reading scary books or books with monsters in them? Let me know down below. And that's all she wrote. Murder she wrote. I should go to bed.
Good night, sweet dreams. Java wants you to click on the video. Here's a video. Here's a video. Look at the camera, you silly cat. Okay, well, this is the end screen. Welcome to the end screen. Bye.